Just journeying up to the Engadine Mountains is a sublime experience, as is crossing the Julier Pass at an altitude of over 2,000 meters. A more leisurely option is to take the Bernina Express. The train's been ferrying passengers up and down the mountain since 1910. While some trains run through UN World Heritage Sites, the Bernina Line actually is one, thanks to its combination of stunning views and civil engineering. Those traveling to the mountains from Italy cross the Bernina Pass, where the train gets its name from. We've been wanting to do this for two years and we've finally made it. It's really very nice. Yes, I like, yes, of course. We are here in Saint Moritz three days for a holiday. The ride also takes us to Saint Moritz, known around the world as a holiday destination for the rich and famous. It's the best known city in the region and also the highest in Europe at 1,800 meters altitude. It's a perfect location for winter sports lovers. The resorts here in the Engadine offer skiers and snowboarders some of the best slopes in the world. For those not interested in skiing, there are plenty of other thrills available. You can take a bobsled ride with professionals for 230 euros on Europe's oldest natural run course. There's room for two guests in a four-person bobsled for visitors, while the other two places are taken by experts. But only people looking for a serious adrenaline rush should take part. The sled travels almost as fast as competitors in the Olympic Games. It's 1,722 meters long, and it'll take us 1 minute 13 seconds to cover that. We'll reach a top speed of 136 or 137 kilometers an hour. That's about 10 to 12 kilometers per hour slower than in a racing bobsled. The bobsledder's performance can't be overestimated. He brought us down safely. It was phenomenal. Unbelievable. It's like Formula One. And the pilot was amazing. <laughs> The landscape here has been an inspiration to artists and architects such as Norman Foster, who designed the Chesa Futura in St. Moritz. Other architects try to combine modern designs with traditional local style. This apartment building in Pontresina, created by Hans-Jörg Stricker, is the perfect example. We have various traditional elements of an old-fashioned farmhouse, but we've also got a new interpretation with these funnel-shaped windows. And we've presented the place in a modern way. There are plenty of other examples of typical Engadine farmers' homes in Pontresina. The windows are always kept very small, and to maximize the amount of light coming in, these funnels were developed. You can see them very nicely here. Sis Maria was where 19th century philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche would come to rest and ruminate. Home to 700 people, it's considered one of the prettiest villages in the region. Since 1908, a distinctive palatial-looking building has towered over Sils Maria. The Waldhaus Sils Hotel has attracted an eclectic mix of celebrities over the past century, ranging from Thomas Mann to David Bowie. It's been run by the same family for five generations. The Waldhaus was initially built for the summer, and then in 1924 it was set up for winter too. Nowadays we get about 60% of our guests in the winter, the rest in summer. The last stop on our tour is a ride up to Moates Moral on a funicular railway. The location boasts great views across the Engadine Valley from an altitude of almost two and a half thousand meters. 
to see it at its most spectacular, visitors should check out the views at sunset.